Hi guys, in this lesson we are drawing graphs from tables, um, so let's get started. Okay, so you can just rule off and write the date. Your heading is drawing graphs from tables. Okay. Alright, so if I'm given a table like this one below, what they'll usually do is they'll say complete the table and then draw the graph. Okay, so in this case here, I've already completed the table. Um, if you're not sure how to complete the table, then you need to go back to lesson one. Um, which is on the same playlist. So you would say negative 2 times your x value, which is 1. So that's negative 2 plus 3 gives me 1. Okay. And then you complete all of these. Each of these columns is one coordinate pair. Okay. So for example, here, um, my coordinate pair here would be 1, 1. All right. So that's a coordinate pair. And if I show you all of them, these are them. Okay. So these are all my coordinate pairs, negative, uh, 2, negative 1, 3, negative 3, etc. Okay, there's my x value, there's my y value. Okay, remember, this line here is your y axis, okay, and then the one that goes across is your x axis, and then you would need to label all of these, um, you basically need to label your axes correctly. So just make sure that you are using a ruler when you label your axes. The, the points need to be the same width apart, otherwise, if you're drawing your graph, it's going to come out a little bit wonky, okay, so, um, so make sure that you're measuring with a ruler, okay, and then you can start plotting, okay, so once you've done this, you don't need to draw all of these grey lines, okay, I've just drawn that to make it easier for myself, but you don't need to do that, okay, so I'm going to label 0.11, I start from 0, I move across first from 1 to 1, so there's my first point, then I'm going to move across again, to 2 and then down to negative 1, then across to 3 and down to negative 3, etc. Okay, so there's all my points that I've plotted, and then what you would do, because they want you to draw a graph, um, you would need to join all of those points. Okay, so, so you shouldn't just leave it like this. So you draw the graph and then you label the graph. Okay, so um, you label it according to its general rule. That's the graph formula. Okay, so the general rule is the same as the graphs label, the graph formula. So it's y equals negative 2x plus 3. And then you're done. Okay, so you'd get a mark for your table, a mark for your plotting um, the coordinate points correctly, and then a mark for actually joining the graph and labeling it. Okay, if you don't label your Cartesian plane properly, so say for example, um, these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are all not um, the same width apart, then your graph is not going to be straight and you're not going to um, get the marks. Okay, all right, so let's do another example. All right, so again, I filled the table in for you. Um, I've, used, I've used fractions, but if you wanted to use um, decimals here, then you're welcome to use decimals. Okay, only for algebra, I'm specific that we need to use fractions, but for graph work, if you want to use decimals, you're welcome to. Okay, so again, um, there's my one coordinate point. They are all of my coordinate points. Okay, so negative 2, 0, negative 1, 1 half, 0, 1, 1, 1 and a half, 2, 2. If I plot this, it's okay that I've got halves. Okay, there's my y and my x, and there's my my labels on my Cartesian plane. If I'm plotting a half, you just go, so I might not have labeled a half, but I can see that between one, 0 and 1, there's a half. That's fine. Okay. All right. So let's start. So I'm going to go from 0, I move across first. So I move across to negative 2, and I don't need to move up and down because it's 0. The y coordinate is 0, so there's my first point. Again, I'm going to start, so I move across to negative 1 and up to a half. Okay, so it's somewhere there. Then I'm going to move across to 0. Okay, so I don't need to move across and up to 1. And then I do the same for the other coordinates. There it is. All right, so I've um, put in all my points. You don't need to label every single point. I just label it for you guys so that you can see which points I'm working with. Um, so you don't need to put in the coordinate next to the point that you've just put in. Okay. Um, then I'm going to join it. There it is. And I don't forget to label it because you get a mark for that. So my graph is called y is equal to half x plus 1. All right. Okay, for homework, guys, I would like you to please do this exercise. Um, 
uh, it is exercise 15.6 on page 172. So what they want you to do is they want you to generate a table. So your x values in your table are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so mine, if I go back here, mine were negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. You're just going to have 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, and then you're going to make a table for each one, and you're going to plot the graph. So you're going to get your coordinate pairs, you're going to label them on a Cartesian plane, and then you're going to join the graph and label the graph. So for example, this one will be y equals 2x plus 1. Okay, if you want to maybe draw two graphs on the same Cartesian plane, then you can, so that you don't have to draw a Cartesian plane every single time. Okay, good luck, guys.